Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KB5068861 because of these error code. If you're receiving this download error that is 0x800F0922 or 0x8024069. Now the first step is to pause and restart the update. So go to Windows update. Here you can see pause option, hit pause and then resume updates and then you can check still not working start these services now for this type in services in windows search box click on services find app readiness make a double click on app readiness set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click on app readiness then click on restart find windows update scroll down make a double click on windows update set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click on windows update and then click on restart now find background intelligent transfer service make a double click set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok make a right click and then click on restart Now check, still not working, run these commands. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator, click on yes to allow. Copy the first command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. This will run a scan. Once this scan is 100% complete, copy the second command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. In my case, I already ran it. Once the second scan is 100% complete, then copy the third command paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. Once the third scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can go to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. And then write down the name of the update over here. That is KB5068861. And then click on search. Type in WINVER in Windows search box and then click on WINVER run command and check the version. Version is, in my case, it's 25H2. And then check the system type. So go to system in Windows settings and then scroll down, go to about option. So system type in my case is X64. Now for me, it's Windows 11 version 25H2 X64 based system. So for me, this is the right one. Uh, if you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. So click on download and then click on KB5068861 over here and let the download complete. Once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use fixed problems using Windows updates. For this open Windows settings, go to Windows update advanced option scroll down recovery option here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on re reinstall now this process will take some time and once this is done now you can try to update still not working the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can go to microsoft website scroll down here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then you can run this exe file once you run the exe file then click on yes uh, click on accept over here by default windows 11 will be selected click on next select iso file over here then click on next save it to desktop save let the download complete this process will take some time and once done click on finish option and then let this close automatically do not close this manually once done go to windows iso file make a double click and then make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow click on next click on accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install so make sure this is checked and then hit install and after the installation log into the computer and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel